Am I the only one that has been sad as shit lately? Is it just me? Is it just me? Or are we all going through it? Because I've been talking to a lot of people and I find that as a collective, we're just all depressed lately. And I'd love to blame it on seasonal depression because that's always the answer, but it, it, the weather's been pretty nice lately. I mean, with the exception of today, it's pretty gross out. The weather has been pretty nice lately and I still had been feeling so sad. I'm ready to talk about it now because I'm feeling a lot better. Thank God, this is fairly recent. I've only been feeling better for about five days now, but prior to that, I was so down. I was just like, I was not okay. And I wanna talk about that, like that's that depression that kinda of comes with being spiritual. So if you're feeling what I was feeling, it may look like, I guess, just like depression in general. You don't wanna leave the house, you don't wanna see people, you're full on hermit mode, just like the tarot card. Like you legitimately just want to be alone, isolate and do nothing. You wanna wake up and cry, you wanna to go to sleep and cry, you wanna shower and cry, you wanna eat and cry. It's just like intense emotions that you just need to release. But here's the thing, a lot of you guys are not releasing and I feel that. A lot of you guys are just like mad at yourselves for feeling sad and um, upset at yourself for being emotional and distracting yourself before you get the chance to embrace your emotions. But that's what we're not gonna do. What we're gonna do is we're gonna feel it out, allow the emotions to flow through us and release because that is absolutely fundamental in our healing process. Like it really, it really, really is. So spiritual depression to me, is a sadness and a depression that comes with the healing journey. It stays for a long time if you don't do shadow work, if you don't work on healing. It could be long-term depression and it can, it can last like way longer than you want it to. But if you do the necessary work on yourself to heal, then it can, it can pass. It can really pass rather quickly and you'll be able to move on and, and move to the next phase of your life. A lot of times this depression occurs when you're about to go through a really deep sense of healing and come out 10 times stronger and better and more successful and whatever else. It's one of those emotions that you have that kind of prepare you for what's next. It's like, okay, if you can handle this, you can handle all of the abundance that we're ready to give you. And by where I mean, spirit guides, universe, you know what I mean? Like that's kind of what they're seeing when they look at you. They're like, okay, let's throw some, some turmoil your way. Let's give you a little tower moment. And then let's see if you can take it. And if you can, on to the next phase of your life, moving on, you know? So usually when I go through this, I try to remind myself like this is rock bottom. It's gonna get better. Something great is coming. Something big is coming. Right now I feel it. I feel something big coming. I feel a shift and I don't know what it is. I have a feeling that things are gonna work out really well for me very soon. And I think that's what's keeping me like holding on. But I don't know, I don't know. The depression that I was feeling was really rooted in uncertainty. And this uncertainty caused a lot of self-doubt. I mentioned this in one of my get ready with me's. I was literally looking up like programs in university that I could potentially take if this YouTube thing doesn't work out. And I was just figuring out, I was trying to figure out my future. I was applying to jobs on LinkedIn, like full-time jobs on LinkedIn. And I was so sad that I was doing that because that's not what I want. That's not in alignment with my, my future. It's not, it, it doesn't make sense for me. Why should I spend full-time hours investing my, my time into something that I don't want to build or grow? I should be investing that into myself and I've always felt that way but this self-doubt that came with the depression was telling me otherwise, like it was so bad. I really truly believed that I wasn't enough and it was really sad to go through all of this because it's not typically how I feel. And I really feel like it was like the universe almost testing me, seeing if I'm ready, seeing if I'm emotionally equipped to deal with what's next. And I, I faced it head on, which is what you need to do if you're going through the same thing as me. You really need to confront your emotions. Like, oh my God, why do I wanna cry? It was so, it was so sad. Like I, I've never felt so low. Usually when I feel that low, I can, I could blame it on something, you know? I could blame it on my breakup. I could blame it on, oh, I just like moved out of my parents' house. I could blame it on external factors, but like everything that I was like feeling, I could only point it back at myself. Like, and then I was looking at myself and I was like, 
what's wrong with me? What, like, why am I feeling this way, you know? And suddenly all of the dark parts of myself were like coming up, you know? All of these things that I'm not proud of were re like resurfacing and I was starting to see myself for who I truly am and it was kind of scary. It was almost what I imagined like a super intense like ayahuasca trip is like um as crazy as that sounds oh there's a no i'm not gonna go to the next one as crazy as that sounds sorry i was talking to myself i wanted to go to mcdonald's and then i changed my mind you know how when you hear those ayahuasca stories people are like you know confronted with themselves and suddenly they see things clearly and it's like it was under their nose the whole time i kind of felt like i went through that minus the plant medicine it was just like my own self-inflicted healing that i was doing and I'm so proud of myself. I had this moment where I was just lying down and, um, no, I was sitting down, not that it makes a difference. I was sitting down and I was just thinking and talking to myself out loud, asking myself questions like, why are you upset? And I was like, okay, this is why. Okay, why do you feel this way? Because this, and what caused that? This, and I just kept going deeper and deeper. So I'll give you an example, okay. Let's say, um, Let's start with the insecurity that I was feeling. So I was like, you feel insecure. Why do you feel insecure? Because you don't feel good enough. Why don't you feel good enough? Because other people are doing better. Why does it matter that other people are doing better? It doesn't. Okay, so then I start over. I go back to the next question. I'm like, okay, so why are you sad? Because I don't feel good enough. Okay, why don't you feel good enough? Because I'm not doing all that I can to propel myself forward. Why aren't you doing all that you can to propel yourself forward? Because and then you don't have an answer. So then you look at yourself and you're like, okay, you're doing yourself a disservice. Why am I comfortable doing with my doing myself a disservice? And then I look in, inwards and I'm like, because I don't love myself as much as I think I do. A, a lot of it came down to, like, fuck. A lot of it came down to realizing that I lacked um, a deep sense of self-love that I didn't realize was not present. I always look in the mirror and I'm like, I love myself, I fuck with myself, I'm this and that, but this week I was just feeling so low and so insecure and so down and I genuinely like almost felt like I like hated myself. Like I looked in the mirror and I was not okay with, with what I was seeing, not fi not physically. Um, Cause when I look in the mirror, I look into myself like internally and I wasn't okay. I was asking myself about who I am to people that I love and what kind of friend I am, what kind of family member I am, um, what kind of like content creator I am. All of these things, and some of some of the answers were good, and some of them were not good. I was really upset with myself, and then I just started envisioning all these conversations that I need to have with people that I love, and um, all these things that I need to address. And <sighs> this video was like meant to be an advice video, and I'm just like kind of talking about myself. But I guess that's what I do on my channel. I just like really relate everything to my own personal experiences. That's what inspires my content, what I'm going through, and. By anyways, by doing all of that, I was able to really like strip the layers and strip the ego and see myself. And when I did that, I was able to become aware and I felt like I was able to start the healing journey, like continue the healing journey. There's always a real healing journey that's going on in my life and in everyone's life, but I felt like I was like on a new chapter, you know, like okay, we've healed this, now it's time to heal this. Okay, we've healed that, now it's time to heal this, you know? And there's a Mabel's here, I love that place. And it felt good to know what to like work on because a lot of times I'm like, I gotta work on myself, but I don't know what to work on. And I felt like, okay, now I know. So I was able to start my shadow work, um, which had to do with a lot of journaling, a lot of introspection, a lot of crying, a lot of feeling, a lot of conversations that I have to have that I have not had yet, of things that I want to address, and um, I finally, I finally was able to be real with myself. I realized a lot of decisions that I want to make, and um, how I thought I wanted them to go a different way, but that was only because I was like not healing actively, and I didn't really know what I wanted. Um, so now I know. I know what I need to do and it feels really good. I'm not 100% back yet, like I don't feel 100% great. I still feel this weird like shadow over me, but I'm, I'm working on myself and that's what's important. And yeah, I just feel, I feel like I'm on the right path now. 
and I know what I need to do. And I think that is like really what I want to stress in this video is that if you're feeling depressed and if you're feeling sad and anxious, that is okay, but you need to address it. Don't, don't just sit there and be like, oh, I'm sad and I don't know why. And just like, you know, like you, you gotta figure out why. You gotta dig deeper. Why, why? Ask yourself the hard questions. Journal about the hard questions. If you don't like journaling, record yourself on audio notes or um, a video recording and just talk it out to yourself. It feels good just to address it. If you do it internally, the thoughts are gonna fizzle out in your mind. Like they're not really gonna hold much weight. You need to verbalize it out loud or say it. Sorry, this bandage is so ugly. Or say it to someone or write it out, you know? Like you can't just like not address it like orally or written. I really think you need to. Oh, there's a McDonald's drive through right here. Yay! Fun fact, this is the first drive through that I ever went in in my life. When I was learning to drive, I went through this drive through as practice very difficult so yeah a lot of people don't really understand what shadow work is and I like to think that it's just addressing the parts of you that you're not the proudest of or maybe not even aware of this can be through meditation learning what they are is one thing addressing acknowledging and confronting them is a whole other thing hot or cold hot or cold hot or cold with our double the points of energy now you earn three food faster Sorry, are you like points point? today Hello, how can I help you? Hi, can I get a medium double double please? Yeah, what is your name? That's it. I went for hot. It's a cold day. It's zero degrees outside. Medium double double, thank yes. you. Thank you. So yeah, I don't remember my last thought, but like shadow work is basically like confronting, addressing all of your shadow side, your dark side, your unfavorable traits, and healing it. But first you need to really come to terms with it and that's the emotional part where you're like, oh, I'm kind of a shitty person and it's really hard and then you need to cry it out and release it all and stop feeling sorry for yourself and work on it. Get your fucking ass up and work. It seems like nobody wants to work these days. <laughs> sorry. I actually have a worksheet with um, shadow work prompts. So if you're interested in doing some like deep shadow work on yourself, then I suggest getting the worksheet. It's on my Etsy and on my website. I'll link it below. And either like using the questions, my car is shaking. Why is my car shaking so much? Either using the questions and answering them in a video or using the questions and journaling about them, but you need to confront them. Or you and a friend can ask each other and you can have like a wine night or a smoke night and just sit and just open up. I think it's so important. Anyways, I just thought it was important to address um, the depression and sadness that we've been feeling as a collective lately. I, I really truly feel that I'm not alone in this and it's gonna get better. I mean, it's gotten better for me. I really was going through it and when I tell you I had this like emotional release as if it was like a full moon, I'm not joking. And now this full moon is coming up in two days and I'm on my period, so it's gonna be a really intense one. It's also Aries season, so like there's so much new energy coming in. So right now I know I'm gonna be releasing a lot. So I know that this turmoil and distress is not over and I'm okay with that. Um, but I just think it's important that what you take from this video is that you need to allow yourself to feel in order to heal. And after that, greater abundance and blessings and just happiness will come your way, I promise you but it's gonna get better. I think when I started feeling better, it was, um, I'm gonna say Monday, Sunday, Sunday. I, I had that emotional breakdown on Sunday, like one of many, but that was like the worst of the worst this week or last week, and I let it all out, all out, and then I, I was okay. And another thing that I did is I actually, I'm gonna make a whole video on this. I actually took all of my spiritual tools out of my room because I wanted to really, um, remind myself that I am all that I need. I don't need any external sources. I don't need ex any external tools I don't need crystals I don't need any of that in order to have a deep relationship with myself and in order to heal and grow as a person so Yeah, I think that really helped me out too. It's just like 
detaching from those things so maybe even try that out but if you're not there yet that's okay use your rose quartz to heal your heart girl or boy or person and do what you got to do everyone's on their own journey and sometimes i think that we forget that like what works for someone else might not work for the other person so just be patient with yourself give yourself some grace and allow yourself to like grow through what you go through okay so with that being said i hope that you learned something in this video and i'm sorry if you're feeling as sad as i was because i i know it's not fun and i know that it's it's hard so yeah i don't want you to think that i'm just like chilling here happy woohoo fun getting nice coffee as if everything's great because i was not okay but anyways i hope you i hope you felt something when you watched this Whatever you're going through, wherever you're on your journey, let me know down below how you're feeling and what you're going through so we can all kind of like relate to each other in the comments. I would love to just talk with you guys so I can just understand where all of our hearts are at. And yeah, we'll just, we'll just chat it up from there. And I'm sending you all love and light and abundance and hopefully lots of healing. And I will see you in my next video. Bye guys.